If you ever had problems understanding what's being said in a large reverberant room like a cathedral, or perhaps in a packed classroom with a loud background noise, then you know what it sounds like when the consonants are drowned. In this tutorial, I will explain why speech intelligibility goes down when the consonants drown. Speech consists of both vowel and consonant sounds. The vowels A, E, U are all generated by the vocal cords in our throat and filtered by the vocal cavities. The consonants are T, S, P, K, B, pretty much all the hard sounds. They are all created by air blockages and noise sounds all formed in the passages of air through the throat and mouth, particularly the tongue and lips. When the vowels are identical, the consonants before or after the vowel makes the differentiations of the words. The vowel or doesn't mean anything, but if I add the P, it becomes paw, or the L, it becomes law, and then it makes sense. Like the words top, bob, pop, they are identical without the consonants. So, the consonants are extremely important for speech intelligibility. Without the consonants, we are not able to understand what's being said or sung. Even though the consonants are hard sounding, they have very little energy compared to the vowels. It is impossible to add energy to the consonants. Try to yell the sound of a T. It's not louder, even though you are yelling it. This basically means that when you yell, the consonants are masked by the vowels. And you're not making it easier to understand what you just said. Consonants are predominantly found in the frequency range above 500 Hz, but most of them are in the area between 2 to 4 kHz. So this part of the frequency range is therefore one of the most important areas to preserve when focusing on speech intelligibility. Reflections, background noise or music can easily mask or bury the consonants. Listen to this word. Miss You can't really tell what is being said, but if I remove the reverb so you can hear it without the reflections, you will understand it. Mist. If the background sound or the reflections are too loud, it can often be solved just by moving the microphone closer to the mouth or by changing to a mic with a more directional characteristic. So the takeaway from this tutorial should be that in order to maintain the high speech intelligibility, you have to preserve the consonants. And in order to preserve the consonants, there are three easy steps. Choose microphones with a wide frequency range, place it close to the sound source, avoid as many reflections and as much background noise as possible.